my best friend has just posted her beach vacation pictures on social media. I want to put a nice comment under them, but I really can't think of anything. Hmm, nice, beautiful, mm -mm, wrong. Nice won't suffice and beautiful is not fanciful. So in today's video, I will give you 15 words and expressions that you can use instead of nice and beautiful. And you can say these to someone or you can use them to comment on social media. All in all, these will light up your daily conversations and make you sound like a fluent and advanced English speaker. So let's get going. Hey, this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat. And today is a Friday, so here we are again with a brand new video. I hope you look forward to Fridays as much as I do. And now for the 15 stupendous words and expressions to say instead of saying the boring nice or beautiful to someone. So how about you try making sentences with these words in the comment section below and also try to use them this entire week. And next Friday, tell me how you felt about using your brand new vocabulary words. At number one, wowtastic or wowza. This one adds a little sparkle to the boring old wow. Your neighbors bought a new motorbike. How do you congratulate them? You can say, Wowza, the bike looks great. Or, Wowtastic, that's a dashing bike. Wowtastic is wow plus fantastic. Wowtastic or Wowza. An avalanche of awesome. I miss traveling and going for vacations. One of my favorite phrases to use when someone asks me, How was your trip? It's it was an avalanche of awesome. You can use this to describe a fun-filled occasion like our skiing trip to the Alps was an avalanche of awesome. We can also use this to describe someone's personality. Megan is so cool. She is an avalanche of awesome. And before moving on to word number three, I want to give a shout out to Shweta Suraj Shetty from Udipi. Sounds a bit like a tongue twister for leaving this super sweet message under my last video. And if you want a shout out in my next video, you know exactly what to do. Leave me a comment below with the hashtag Chet Chatters. No combination of 26 alphabets can. Now think of your role models. Maybe your mom, it could be your teacher. How can you express your gratitude for them? No combination of 26 alphabets can describe what you mean to me, mom. Or no combination of 26 alphabets will be enough to tell you how much value you add to my life, ma'am. Some people are invaluable. Their lessons leave you speechless. So why don't we tell them that directly? Try it and let me know what happens in the comment section below. Amaze balls. Your friend has just colored her hair and she's super excited to show it to you. And if you want to respond with some energy and enthusiasm, the same energy that they have, you can say your hair color looks amaze balls or you look amaze balls with these new color. This is a bubbly way of saying amazing. Many times we are excited for our friends, but we just can't express it so well and they take it the wrong way. So to show your genuine joy, say amazeballs, A1 since day one. This one is for your gang or your squad or your people who've always got your back. It could be your family or your friends. Example, my family has supported me from the beginning of my YouTube career. They are my A1 since day one. Your A1s are your close friends who've always been there for you. If you have a friend who has helped you through tough times, go and tell them today. You are my A1 since day one. And if you're looking for some fabulous words to use instead of saying yes or no, then check out these two videos and I will drop a link for you in the description box below. Showstopper. When the bride entered the wedding hall, everyone started clapping. She was a real showstopper. A showstopper is someone who is the highlight of the event. 
someone who makes you want to applaud. So, last evening, Marie was a showstopper in her white lace dress. We can also use showstopper when we talk about performances or movies. The scene on the battlefield in Avengers Endgame was the perfect showstopper. Now, which movie scene was a showstopper for you? Drop your answers in the comments below. 7 billion people in the world and you're still the one for me. Do you believe in soulmates? If you do, then here is something you can say to your soulmate. 7 billion people in the world and you're still the one for me. There are millions of phrases with millions. Try saying you are one in a million or let's say you want to compliment somebody's smile without seeming insincere or awkward. You can simply say you have a million dollar smile. Another million dollar phrase is like a million bucks. When someone is in the best of health or happiness, we can say that they look like a million bucks. Robbie looks like a million bucks after he started working out. How about you tell your friends that Chet Chat is one in a million with some amazeball videos and more than the words, it will be the tone of excitement in your voice and the body language that will convey the message. So when you're saying something is good, look bright and happy, smile and say wow-tastic. You are more fun than anything or anyone I know, including bubble wrap. If you don't have that friend, then you are that friend. But anyway, how do you compliment their personality by keeping it light and funny? Try saying, you are more fun than anything or anyone I know, including bubble wrap. Just like you never get bored of popping bubble wrap, you never get bored of spending time with this jester of the group. You are more fun than bubble wrap or you're more fun than anything or anyone I know, including bubble wrap. When God made you, he was seriously showing off. The next one is for someone you really admire in many ways. Remember, you don't want to sound out of line or indecent. So a simple and cute way of complimenting your girlfriend or boyfriend is, when God made you, he was seriously showing off. It's the honesty in your voice that will make them feel beautiful and loved. When God made you, he was seriously showing off. And now quickly drop me a message right now telling me which of these words was your favorite. Drop dead gorgeous. Who is your favorite Korean actor? Lee Min Ho or Yan Bin? Whoever it may be, don't they look drop dead gorgeous? We use this phrase when someone looks absolutely stunning. So, Bella Hadid looked drop dead gorgeous at the Cannes Film Festival. Drop dead gorgeous. Sometimes when I'm very tired, I also say I'm drop dead exhausted. <laughs> but you can say drop dead gorgeous to that new shining car on the Auto Expo as well. Easy on the eye. Someone or something that is easy on the eye is pleasant to look at. Let's say you visit a museum and you really like a painting. You can say, that painting is easy on the eye. The colors are so soothing to look at. You can use the same phrase perhaps if you're buying jewelry. I like elegant necklaces. They're so easy on the eye. Head turner. Has this ever happened to you? You're walking down a road and suddenly a fast car zips past so that everyone turns to look at it. That's exactly what we call a head turner. The new Lamborghini is a real head turner. We can use this same phrase to describe someone who's a very magnetic personality. I had this dance teacher at school who used to walk with such poise and grace wherever she went that everyone would turn to look at her. Mrs. Roberts was a head turner. Cut a dash. Your older brother got selected in the army and it's his first day. He's a little nervous and you're so proud to see him wear the uniform. What can you say to build his confidence? You cut a dash in your new uniform. This means he looks impressive and bold and even dashing. When you tell someone they look good, they start feeling good too. So the next time you feel somebody is low on confidence, tell them you cut a dash in this outfit. 
you're such a pro or you're a natural at this. Many times in professional settings, we want to commend people for their skills. For this, we need a casual yet decent phrase. So suppose the senior in your basketball team is very adept at shooting three-pointers. You really admire their skills. You can tell them, you're such a pro at three-pointers. Pro is a short and cool way of saying professional. The captain is a pro at dribbling. When years of practice make something seem natural, you can also say, the senior in my basketball team is a natural. She shoots baskets with ease. A fruit loop in the world full of Cheerios. And finally, for the last one, Novelty or uniqueness is something you always want to point out in people. If you know someone who doesn't bow into peer pressure and stands out from the crowd, you can tell them you are a fruit loop in the world full of Cheerios. They add color to the black and white life around us. This is not only a phrase but a mantra to live by. Be a fruit loop in the world full of Cheerios. So I hope that you found this video an avalanche of awesome and that it will help you sound like a natural English speaker or a pro. So give me a little cheer by pressing that like button and the subscribe button and happy learning.